Hello, welcome back to the channel and to this haul of the goodies that I picked up at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show at the NEC. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who's watched the last video. It was a really different kind of video to make, uh, so we're really pleased that you all enjoyed it so much. If you haven't already seen it, it's linked below and above. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the NEC. I was at home looking after Dozer, but Mac and I had a really good chat before he left, and we talked about some of the items that we thought we might be interested in. So I sent him off to the NEC with a pretty good shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, let's see what I managed to tick off that list. So the first thing we've got to show you is this handy wall organizer from Thule. And this is something that we had on our list from the very beginning. It hangs up, you've got a couple of eyelets here. You've also got these nifty little straps where you can hang it from the part of your awning. Um, and I think this is gonna be super helpful. Yeah, we, we've been looking for something like this. So this is exactly what we were hoping to find. In our other caravan, we had uh, like a piece of work surface right next to the door. And that would be where we'd put things like keys, bits and pieces, dog treats, leads and things like that. We don't have that in this caravan and we just thought perhaps we'll hang this um, next to the door on the wall of the wardrobe and it can be the place to put all your bits and bobs, your keys, dog treat um, bags, yeah. Uh, stuff like that so it will just keep the caravan nice and neat and tidy and what's really great about this is there's lots of different pockets so you can organize it and it also zips up as we will demonstrate so if you want to you could fill it um, pack it up zip it up and actually transport it already with stuff in it very nifty indeed yeah and this cost 40 pounds so I think the price of organization it's priceless. It's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite lightweight as well. It so, is actually, yeah, yeah really good. Really, yeah. Ple really pleased with that. Okay, the next thing I bought, also from Thule, is not something that was on the shopping list, but I knew that it's something that Sarah needed. And he was absolutely right. This is a toiletry bag. Now, in 2007, when we got married, which is... Oh, that long ago? A long time ago. Oh. I bought a toiletry bag to take on our honeymoon. And I have had that toiletry bag ever since. So it has been to so many different places and I've loved it, but no other toiletry bag has come close to the style of that bag and the capacity of that bag. So when Mac FaceTimed me um, from the NEC to say, I think I found something, I was so pleased and this is gonna be absolutely perfect um, because the problem I have with most toiletry bags is honestly, they're just too small um, and I don't travel light. So this, um, <laughs> this has got a flap that flaps, but uh, that you can uh, flap up. <laughs> oh my God. That's... Flap it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So this opens up. There's a couple of zipped compartments here. Uh, one that is waterproof and then one mesh. And there's a little mirror as well. And then you unzip this compartment, which I've pre-unzipped to make it easy for the demonstration. And then it opens out and you can see just how big this is and all of these just little separate compartments for organizing all of your bits and pieces pockets for everything absolutely everything so um and and then in the main compartment here it's really nice and deep um so there's plenty of room for all of my contact lens solutions and all of my bits and pieces and inside here as well there's some mesh dividers um which will make kind of separating things out really easy we're actually going away this weekend and I cannot wait to get this filled and give it a try because I think instead of having to use one toiletry bag, a makeup bag, mm. um, and then one bag for shower bits and pieces, I think I'm going to be able to fit everything, everything in here. Everything in one bag. Yeah. And it feels really well made as well. So that um, Eagle Creek bag that you had for 15 years. 15 years. I um, love that Eagle Creek This bag. feels every bit as good quality as that. So yeah. yeah. And it comes with a hook as well. That, so um, it should be really straightforward to hang it up in the bathroom area of the caravan. And this was? 32 pounds. Now, if you have seen the 2024's Must Have Accessories video, then you'll have seen that I visited the Poor Door stand and spoke to Anna, who very kindly demonstrated a luxury dog drying bag. 
I'm very happy to say that we have one here and we have also dry dozer in it as well. We have, yeah. Now, this is a fantastic product. You'll have seen the demonstration on the video. Um, we're also going to take this away with us uh, and strangely pray for some rain <laughs> so this that we weekend. Can test it out, so probably. that we can test it out. <laughs> but having a chocolate brown Labrador who, of course, gets wet and muddy like all dogs do and a lovely caravan with cream seats, we want to make sure that we are keeping him and the caravan both dry and clean. Now, what is amazing is that we were gifted these by Anna very generously, and she's also hooked us up with a discount code so that you can save 10% if you want to order these online. We'll link that discount code, we'll put it on the screen here. So all you need to do is visit the Poor Door website, put in Dozer 10, and you will get 10% off your order. So this is, um, as I say, a doggy drying bag. Now we had to get the extra large because Dozer, <laughs> Dozer is, is quite deep, a lump, yep. um, but it is a great um, product to help absorb all the dirt and the rain and the mud and the wet and, and leave your dog nice and cozy and dry. But also when the weather turns and the summer arrives... Uh, they very kindly also gifted us this beautiful cool coat and um, one of the things that I really love about Paw Doors is that their logo looks like a letter D for Dozer it which does. is very sweet um, but this is just such a lovely product we we pop this on Dozer it's a perfect fit I think this is, is the yeah. extra large, extra large. Yep. Um, so if you have a large Labrador like we do that's probably the right size and it is just lovely our other cool coat we had from Amazon um, so you can definitely feel the difference in quality for this piece it is really really nice. When I saw Anna at the NEC I talked about that and I talked about the fact that we'd had one from Amazon before and it's like this kind of dry cardboardy type material that you soak mm -hmm. and then you kind of have to keep soaking over time um, but um, they had one on the stand that had been soaked um, in the morning and even by the afternoon it was still cool and damp as well so I think this is a much higher quality example of a cool coat for a dog. Yeah. So, so you just pop it in water um, to get it nice and wet and then you put it on your dog and it should keep them nice and cool so absolutely perfect so thank you very much to poor door for gifting us these and don't forget if you want these you can use the discount code below okay next up is this which is also featured in the video and this is a stretch seat and this is a magical kind of portable seat that you just twist and stretch and there you go, you have, it uh, looks a little bit like a toadstool, doesn't it? But, but it's so sturdy. Really sturdy, and they are adjustable, fully adjustable. So that's its full extension, and you can twist it and have it a little bit shorter if you just want a footstool or a, a beer stand. Um, and they're super light. I think it's like um, just over a kilo or something, and it's completely collapsible so it can fit in a backpack. It's got a carrying strap as well. So um, I think this is a really nifty product. I've bought two of them. And I think this has got so many different uses, not only if you're going camping and you want something to sit outside, or you're going for a hike and you want to take um, you know, a stool with you. I've seen a couple of reels on Instagram since we actually got mm. these where people are using them in urban settings, uh, like some person was using them as a stool to sit on with an easel while she was doing some painting oh, in cool. the middle of London. It was mm. brilliant. Yeah, so I think these are great. These were £30 each, as I say, we've got two of them and I think we're going to get a lot of use out of these. Well, I bet you cannot guess what the next item is. <laughs> That's right, we bought some changing robes and these have been on our list for quite some time now because we do have some, but they uh, feel a little bit like hospital gowns. And they I'm look honest. like hospital gowns. They do. So we wanted to level up our changing robe game and I found these at the show from two bare feet. They were £90 each and I'm really pleased with these. They're actually... Yeah all made from recycled material as well so i think these are going to get a good run out this weekend i think so too and i know that 90 pounds is probably quite um, an investment but i just think it's going to be so great um, because there is literally nothing worse i think when you go over to a shower block in a campsite and it's humid it's hot you've just got out of the shower there's steam everywhere and you're trying to put your clothes back on and it turns out 
it feels like that scene in Friends where Ross is wearing the leather trousers and he can't get them back on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, I think these are going to be perfect for that. So literally just jump out of the shower, towel yourself off, pop one of these changing robes on and saunter happily back over to the caravan. Absolutely. I'm really pleased with these. And, and of course, we're probably late to the party. Loads of people have got these changing robes now. And um, I just think these are a great addition. Um, got a little carry bag for them as well, so we can pop them in the caravan, forget about them until we need them. Um, so yeah, really happy with these. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. The next item on the list we can't show you because I ordered it at the show but it hasn't arrived yet. So they are some bespoke fitted seat covers from Tuck Me Under, made in the UK to our specification for our caravan and our colour of choice. Um, so I think they're going to be a perfect addition to our new van. I'm really looking forward to getting them. The, the, the seats in our caravan are absolutely beautiful, but we have a chocolate brown Labrador. <laughs> um, so we wanted to make sure that we had something that we could remove easily and pop in the wash and just really mm. pleased to have purchased something from a UK based company where they're making them um, from their premises as and well. And they were absolutely lovely as well. So we obviously have Tuck Me Under linked below. And as soon as we have them, you will see them on one of our vlogs to come. So stay tuned for that. We also purchased a fitted sheet for our um, French bed as well. So again, it's made to the uh, exact size for your particular caravan. So looking forward to getting that as well. And the last item we bought, not very exciting, but definitely needed, was some new uh, glasses. So these are polycarbonate. We bought two wine glasses and then four kind of tumbler glasses because the ones that we had uh, were too tall to fit in the cupboards and won't stack properly. So we just bought these to replace them. Now, I don't know what you think, but these wine glasses look pretty small to me. So, Way too small. Uh, Multiple glasses, I think. Yeah, I don't know gonna, what we're going to do about that. Need to keep refilling them. Uh, but these uh, are multicoloured and should make for good cocktails. So let us Ooh. know uh, if you've watched any of our cocktail videos. <laughs> what cocktails do you think we should make in these? Yes, good idea. Maybe there's another cocktail video to come. Yeah. So these were £16 and the wine glasses were £8. Okay, and there's one more item that I looked at at the show and did some research, but then ordered it when I came back, and that is a towing cover from Specialised Covers. Now, obviously, with a brand new caravan, we want to keep it nice and pristine and protect the front from stone chips and dirt and all that kind of stuff. So I was really keen to, to buy a towing cover. Um, the ones that specialise look like really good quality. They're made to fit perfectly with your model of caravan. So I jumped on their website, used a configuration tool to find out um, the right size, uh, the right thing to order. Um, and um, since I ordered it, I've been getting regular updates and I can safely <laughs> say that our towing cover is now in the sewing room. Um, so a couple of weeks until that arrives. So um, we'll see that on another video. But yeah, super keen to make sure that the front of our caravan stays nice and tidy and looked after. So there you have it. That's everything that Mac bought at the NEC. If you've bought an accessory that you're excited about, leave a comment below and share it with everyone so that we can all benefit from those ideas and suggestions. And we absolutely love getting your comments. We really appreciate the support. We reply to everyone. And honestly, we couldn't be more grateful. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.